I would like to lovingly show Tyler that his words, he really should uh, edit his words. Or if it was something that was a mistake, then just try not to do it again unless you really mean it. Sure. If I if I'm not gonna tell you this, I'm not. It's not gonna be written down because if it was, you wouldn't even believe me. These are the things that are that are soon to happen, you guys. And that is why we must prepare. But see, you can deter, you can mitigate your outcome of what is going to happen to you in this. In your acceptance of Christ. Right? Meaning that you're going to stop being doing evil things. You're going to stop cursing your children. You're going to start uh, fornicating. You're going to stop masturbating. You're going to stop committing adultery. You're going to stop uh, 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 speaking, uh, taking the name of the Lord in vain. You're going to stop cursing everybody that you come across. You're going to stop speaking negatively about everything. That is to accept Christ. So, if the Christ that you are looking to accept is the Christ that is saying that um, you need to start fornicating, would that be a Christ that you would want to follow Stop cursing your children. You're going to start, um, I mean, a show. <clears throat> in your acceptance of Christ, right? Christ, Meaning yeah. that you're yeah. going to I, stop I being doing evil things. You're going to. Can you explain to us what is evil? To stop cursing your children. Yeah, I mean, cursing your children. I can see why you would want to stop cursing your children. But if you wanted to start... You're going to start uh, fornicating. You're if you want to start fornicating, that's, that's already what's being done, actually, spiritually, fornicating against God, your Father, in, that's in heaven. The one that... I don't know if you met him yet. I'm pretty sure you will. You're going to stop masturbating. You're going to stop committing adultery. You're going to... The, the masturbating thing... Who told you it was a sin? And, um... And what... What determines a sin? Like, once a week, twice a week, three times, four times, my lady? You're going to stop... Uh, 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 speaking, uh, taking the name of the Lord in vain. You're going. So when exactly are you going to start to stop doing that, Tyler? Was that a mistake? Like, did you, did you, was that, like in your script, did you mistakenly read the word start, but it really meant, it really said stop, or did you, or, doesn't really say start and somebody just slipped that in like to start like you right i don't know i mean that's what i'm asking you it, it seems like that's what your script was that it said that in there and you actually read it knowing that you're saying it because the thing that gives it away i mean this is purely just an accusation but the thing that gives it away is when you do your hand movement towards the word start fornicating meaning that you're going to stop being doing evil things you're going to stop cursing your children you're going to start uh fornicating you're going to stop i know sometimes your nose just itches at the exact moment that it needs to masturbating you're going to stop committing adultery you're going to i've been told the same thing all my life 
I've been told that. I remember Harold Camping touched on this at one point, saying the same thing I'm saying, that it's anything in excess and anything that's a problem. And, and, what, and he's like, well, what are you? He's like, I don't really want to get into it, but, um, you know, if you're, if you're watching, like, porn or something, then that's what he's saying. It's true, Tyler. It's, it's true. That is true. There are people that you're talking to that need to stop masturbating. But to what is the question? That's what the sin is or isn't. It's not the fact that you're doing it. We're born with it. What the hell? What kind of cruel God is that? Yeah, let me give you an evil doppelganger attached to, your, to the pit. Uh, that way your Bluetooth line can always have a record of every porn site you've ever downloaded or went on or watched or whatever. All your perversion. Let, me, let us just create that on them and then tell them that they need to get rid of it if you want to stop. Like, you need to get inverted. But some people are telling you you need to get inverted, but yet... Because what you see on the outside, all you see is a wall on the outside. But you also see this as well. But from the outside, you don't see anything. But on the inside is that. So that's still there as you're told to stop. Stop touching the tree of life. and. Come join the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because this whole system eats its own tail. It's showing you where it ends up. What happens when the serpent eats its own tail? It kills it. I guess this is his and her, his and hers park. God created he and him. God created male and female in this park. Or it could be parachute park. And this is Sparky Park. Man, this just looks like a trap. Oh, it looks like it's a trap. I'm sure it's all coincidental, right? It's all coincidental that it's right there by St. Peter's altar. The largest altar in the world. It's right here. St. Peter's altar. What if I had this wrong the entire time? And the whole thing about this movement is that it just goes straight up. Come from out of her, my people. That it just goes straight up and it's not the other way around where it's like detached somehow but connected up here. And then what comes out of here would be something like something along the lines of if you turn it upside down. And it's something that was like like ripped out and that's what comes out like look at it that's even like a stinger and that comes out of there and I had it wrong the entire time where I thought that this was one way which is just straight female turned into a female inverted and then this was the, the um the snake that pokes out. But looking at this Statue of Liberty and understanding that this is what this whole thing is about, and somehow this is when it's upside down, it's attached and functional. Maybe some people haven't experienced it yet because they were promised that it would happen, but it's, it had, takes time to generate. And, um, and it's been like that the entire time because you have Miley Cyrus right here doing this thing. And you get, I don't know if that's the same person, just a different 
and then this down there. And so there, this is the male female system. These are men turned into woman, women. So there's the face, the hair of a man, the hair of a woman, the breast implants here. So there's the face and that, and then this is down. And that's what sticks out of this. That's what this entire thing is. But it, you know, from the outside looks like a woman. But that's what, that's why they're doing that. Not only that, but over here, you know, the burnt, uh, the burnt shaft is if you don't go, you don't go with this, you don't get with this. Then you're going to get that. And then this is the identical thing that's going on inside, but it's also here. If there wasn't a landscape, especially in Philadelphia, that's showing exactly what it is in Hollywood and what people have done, I wouldn't be showing this. When Jonathan Kleck started showing this, it's like, come on, you freaking pervert. I don't want to see this. And then here I go doing the same thing because I was judging him at the time and thinking that it's perversion. Well, I'm not going to say it isn't, but what is he showing you? He's showing you the entire system, male and female. This is why the angels came down and they, they fell for the tree of good and evil. Good and evil. It's in the same tree. It doesn't matter. It's, you pick one side, you think it's that. It's not. It's the same. It's, it's either or. It needs to be this. It need to be, needs to be that. It's, it's uh, fully functional. 100% using all of it. It's the Baphomet. It's the, it's the dead sheep. Yep. I feel like Johnny, for sure, showing the same thing over and over again. But that's because when, some, when somebody from the inside gives my channel name to somebody else and they look at it for these purposes alone, maybe they're watching for the first time and they already know what the whole thing is. And they're just, it's like, it's, it's different when somebody from the outside figures it out and shows I said I, I think I'm missing something here. I'm still missing something with the meaning of it and everything. And um, but when you go even further, the leg is up, and then this is the actual garden, the two V's, because there's twelve trees for the healings of the nations, and there's three lanes of of uh, streams of water that meet up right here. While there's a male character here I believe it is and then female and female because there's two there's two over here from this section either way you're you're no matter what happened as a man from the outside it's it's uh it's a woman you can't tell the only difference is what's going on in the inside did you get a full like you know hysterectomy or or is it just something that has been turned upside down i mean yeah that is upside down compared to being right side up but hanging down and going up of course it's and then and then yeah that i mean it does kind of resemble what this whole thing is the statue of liberty what that whole thing represents it, de it damn sure represents that that you know the Statue of Liberty has that in its hand, and and if that's yours, well then that's the female rival coming and taking over, literally like coming and taking over. But what you're not supposed to know is that there's concealment devices and and some people. Some people that have a wall up, because the wall was built. Some people that have the wall up, 
uh, you don't know what's going on inside because it's there's there's females I mean male but looks like female and then there's ma there's male like um, and then there's your interpretation somebody turned it upside down and somebody else when they voted they sent for an absentee ballot but who would it be it wouldn't be who you think it is off just regularly it would be exactly what you wouldn't think something that's really hard to believe that would be true would be the truth I mean how could you tell tell what who's who is that Barack Obama and is that Michelle Obama she's an attractive woman he's a good-looking man she's an attractive woman he's a good-looking guy charming I bet he's funny as hell I bet he's a decent guy honestly but whatever it's just there's there's um, this thing that's going on it's all about tricking the mind it's like a it's like a you know those music musicians or the uh, the guys that stand on the corner they do those tricks there was a guy on South Street he used to do some tricks and stuff but he seemed kind of ignorant he seemed like he had like a attitude problem towards people but maybe it's because nobody really listened and when you're walking by you try to get your attention and nobody's once but sometimes people did stay but there are people that do these tricks that you you don't even know how they did it so what I'm doing is showing you how they did it here's how they did it they did it each any which way to conceal something it's the it's the uh, it's the glory of Elohim to conceal a matter to conceal a matter and it's the and it's the honor of kings to search out search the matter out to find out the matter I'm pretty sure this is that that she has the eye can't quite figure where it would be but I guess X marks the spot and this is the X what's going on right here And it's funny because there's there's serpents everywhere I would get that um, snake charmer to take care of these sidewalks so you can stop looking like snakes there you go serpent race concealed weapon or could have went with the other option because there are two as far as I'm seeing it but the thing is one of them's not really supposed to be known obviously a regular sex change is known where they take it and just put it up there but the other one wasn't supposed to be I think that was that's the, sh the whole secret as the snake rises from the sea and then when the and then when when you're just sitting down it's like it's like who lives who lives here ah uh, some some dickhead lives there you're gonna stop committing adultery you're gonna stop uh, uh, uh speaking uh, taking the name of the lord in vain you're going to stop cursing devouring his son what do you where do you think this shit comes from i'm sorry a lot of people like oh Ooh. jonathan you said Ooh. shit paul said i consider all things dung compared to christ you're probably talking about Tyler, who's talking about people cursing. I'm willing to bet that that's what you're talking about. Go look up the word dung. Paul said, our works are like filthy rags. Because you this know what is that today. Means? Minstrel, bloody minstrel rags. That's what it means. So if people are offended that I use the word shit to emphasize, I'm making a point. You don't think that painting's just shit? It's evil shit is what it is.
and it's manifesting through uh, fornicating. A you're going to stop masturbating. You're going to stop committing That's adultery. Guy you're going to stop uh, uh, Saturn, speaking, his uh, own kid. taking the name there of the Lord is. in vain. You're going to I mean, stop cursing. This is a very famous painting. Lovely. It's a great painting of something that's terrifying. Everybody that you come across. I'm going to stop cursing everybody that I come across because I am the curse. I'm not cursing you. I'm not using um, curse words. These words are truth. Did you or did you not say that we need you need to start fornicating? And did you not rub your face as you said it? As an example, to emphasize the word that you just said is what you meant. Is that not true? Of course it is. You're going to stop speaking negatively about I'm going to because it's not negative. It's not negative. I'm not speaking negative towards you. I'm speaking about your negativity towards the world. Everything. That is to accept Christ. Without Christ, there is no peace in the world. That's right. Without, with your rejection of Christ, what you're saying is you are condemning the world to continue. To uh, um, do what's natural. But if you overdo anything, it's not natural. It's not good. If you're concealing truth, nope. If you know the truth and you're turning from it, then this is part of the church that God has a problem with. I'll just read them off to see which one fits. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks among the seven golden lampstands, says this, I know your deeds and your toil and perseverance, and that you cannot tolerate evil men. And you put to the test those who called themselves apostles, and they are not, and you found them to be false. Well, this sounds like it's talking to my church. And you have perseverance and have endured for my name's sake and have not grown weary so far. But I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Well, who did you love in the beginning? If, if there's nobody that you left, then this doesn't pertain to you. This pertains to people that already know God. They've already known who God is in their life, but they turned from it. They came down from heaven, and they got trapped in that. Therefore, remember when you have fallen to the earth from the sky, and repent and do those deeds you did at first, or else I am coming to you and will remove your lampstand out of its place unless you repent. Yet this you do have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. I've never seen a word hate so much in the Bible anywhere that God hates. Because doesn't God just love everything? He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. To him who overcomes... I will grant to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of paradise. Message to the church in Smyrna. So the first church, Ephesus, I really need to focus on these churches, is a group of people that, well, there's a leader, but there's a group of people that got trapped and left their first true love. Then the church of Smyrna. And to the angel of the church of Smyrna write, the first and the last, he who was dead and has come to life says this. So the first and the last, started first, finishes last, who was dead, but then all of a sudden has come back to life, says this. 
I know your tribulation and your poverty, but you are rich. And the blasphemy by those who say they are Jews and are not, but are found in the synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to cast you, some of you, into prison, so that you will be tested, and you will have tribulation for ten years, or days, and days, or and years, and ten days. Ten, ten. You will have tribulation for ten years, May 21st, 2011, and then all the way up to May 21st, 2021. And then 10 days, you're going to have tribulation for 10 days. Because the earth is dried up. Harold Campbell said May 21st is the second month, the 17th day of the month. And then the 31st is the second month and the 24th day of the month. Well, it's 10 days later from the 17th, 17th, 27th. Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. So this is talking to a church, an angel, someone that, someone that knows your tribulation and your poverty. So these are those who you, but you are rich. So your poverty in this sense, which is your affliction, your poverty, your tribulation, those that really rely on God's people to support them. And then as God's people are supporting them on the YouTube platform, there, there's people that judge them for getting money, which I was one of them as well, but not knowing that there's a thing where if you aren't relying on the government, you're relying on other people to help you, even though everybody else is using the government, but you're not using it. So you're relying on that, which makes you poor in a sense, but you're rich in the spirit. And the blasphemy by those who say they're Jews or not. So you, you and, and you know those who are at, in the synagogue of Satan. So you're on like the other side where you know people that help you out. So you can do these things for free. There's something in the Bible about seven years and Esau or Jacob or something and then they... And then they got to do another seven years because somebody deceived somebody else, one of the brothers, and then the father deceived the brother and said, Ha, ha how's it feel? You got to work for free for another seven years. <laughs> do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into prison so that you will be tested and you will have tribulation for ten days. You will have tribulation for 10 days. Be faithful until death. Because when you die to the world, like Christ, because he already died to the world, not a bone of his was broken. Everybody else that doesn't want to die and they want to save their life, uh, your crown of life will be taken. Why? Because your crown will be taken. Will it be taken as, as if it gets just severed? Or will it be taken because you weren't willing to do the thing and that is the result of it. And you will have tribulation for 10 days. Anybody been in, has anybody been in on this thing for just about 10 years now coming up? And you know what May 21st, 2011 was all about? They're the first fruits. They're the ones that woke up first. I remember. I just didn't know. I didn't know you guys back then, but I woke up at the same time. I've been warning people about something's coming on this earth since 2008 when I heard Harold Camping. And I will give you the crown of life. So the crown of life, it's 
the crown of life is freedom for your mind. Period. He who has an ear, let him hear it. Spirit says to the churches, he who overcomes will not be hurt of the second death. The second death, is it doesn't phase you because, oh, death, where is your sting? Where is it at? I've been told these things, and I'm supposed to be scared, and, and I'm going to go through some other things that, that it's, don't let them take your crown. It's going to be easy. It's so hard not to lose your head. Boot up. Boot up. But I still have to hold I still have to hold you accountable until I until I'm shut off of this platform. So in the meantime, I'm gonna read to these churches, these angels of these churches. I'm still looking. I haven't I haven't matched one yet, really. I haven't really matched one just yet with Tyler with the with what I'm seeing here. So I'm, let me continue. Message to the church in Pergamum and to the angel of the church in Pergamum, right? The one who has the sharp two-edged sword says this. I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast my name and did not deny my faith, even in the days of Antipas, my witness. The witness. My faithful one who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. So somebody was killed among right where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you because you have there some who hold the teaching of Balaam, who kept teaching Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit acts of immorality. I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast my name. Not my name. The name of Jesus Christ. You're holding fast to his name. Let me just make this clear. And did not deny my faith, even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you where Satan dwells. Somebody else was killed among... Who's Antipas? Well, that's, that's his witness. So he has a witness called Antipas. Let me do this. Antipas. Emmanuel. Firmament, smart, raw, Anunnaki, Samson, terrible, God's kingdom, Amanda, Corona, Signal, Masons, Man of God. So, okay, where the Man of God is, El, uh, Emmanuel, Man of God, King of Edom, Palm Tree, Barcode, Reduce, Bread of Life. Hello there. Oh, there's not good now. Push into push fuse. Anti lipstick. I apologize. State. Cell phones are like URL. Death in December. I beat them all. I, I beat them all. Five flames. Clean bum. It's a clean bum. So bum, someone like uh, God, in, someone in God's kingdom. I know where, I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. You dwell, okay. You dwell where Satan's throne is. Where's Satan's throne? Well, on earth, there's a, there's a strong likelihood that it may be upon a rock. It may be because Christ said, Peter, 
I'm going to give you the kingdoms, the kingdom, uh, the key of the kingdom. And then he's like, get behind me, Satan. So with Peter having the key and he's dwelling where S Satan's throne is, would be, you know, like my guess, because I don't, I don't know. I just, I just guess. I rely on people that want to teach me the truth to help me understand the truth. That way I know what it is and who I'm talking to specifically. Even uh, where Satan's throwing us, you hold fast my name. So this is somebody that, if this is somebody from here, and this is a twin system, two halls of government, good and evil, because, well, what's the difference? Isn't that the same thing upside down, backwards? The two halls of government, good and evil? Where'd you go? I know where you dwell, and where Satan's throne is, and hold fast my name, and did not deny my faith. Even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. Now, Antipas is starting to sound like, I mean, what is it about John the Baptist that he's seen in Christ in order to baptize him and pave the way? Well, he would have to have been a faithful one to him, a witness throughout the entire planet. My faithful one who was killed among you where Satan dwells. Well, I mean, where, where does Satan really dwell? Planet Earth. When you come down from heaven and you come down to Earth, this prison, you're, and you're dwelling among Satan? Well, isn't Lucifer doing the same thing? So Lucifer also came down from heaven. To, to, to planet Earth. But isn't he dwelling with Satan? So my faithful one who was killed among you where Satan dwells. So Satan dwells on Earth. This is the prison. When John the Baptist is in prison, this is it right here. It can't see, obviously. It's just a big one. The bars aren't in front of us. But I have a few things against you because you have there some who teach who are the teachings of Baal, who keep teaching Balak to put a, a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols. This is an idol, and if you're donating your plasma, then it's, thou shalt not eat the fruit from that tree to eat things sacrificed to idols and to commit acts of immorality. So you have some who in the same way hold the teachings of the Nicolaitans. Doesn't he hate the Nicolaitans? I think that's what he said, right? Yeah. Nicolaitans up here. Yet this you do have that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans. This is to the uh, church of Ephesus. They hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Which is, this is why, this is why God has a problem with Pergamum, the church, because they, there's those people are in there in your group. You also have some of them who, in the same way, hold the teachings of the Nicolaitans. They also also have them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which I, which thing I hate. He said it again. Therefore repent, or else I am coming to you quickly, and I will make war against them with the sword of my mouth. Who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to him who overcomes, to him I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and a new name written on the stone which no one knows but he who receives it. So this is to the angel of the church of Pergamum. Perg, Pergamum, like purga, purgatory. 
Pergamum, like mom. Pergamum. This is to the angel of the church of Pergamum. Like Mother God. Mother Earth. And then the other, uh, the, the pink part is divine feminine. And the, the black part is divine masculine. Watch this. So, see, and it makes an X. This is the, time, the Time's Up movement. In Congress, all these guys, all of Congress, when Trump had, was all giving his, guys. his first speeches in front of Congress, they were all wearing that. And that's part of the eating things, sacrifice unto idols, and to commit acts of immorality. So you have some there who, in the same way, hold the teachings of the Nicolaitans. Therefore, repent, or else I will come to you quickly, and I will make war against them with the sword of my mouth. So that's a promise. He who has near them here the spirit says the church is to him who overcomes to him will to him I will give some of the hidden manna and I will give him a white stone a new name written on a stone which no one knows but he who receives it message to the church in Thyatira and to the angel of the church in Thyatira write the son of God he who has eyes like the flame of fire and his feet like Burnished bronze says this I know your deeds and your faith I know your deeds your love and faith and service and perseverance and your deeds of late are greater than at first but I have this against you that you tolerate the woman Jezebel you are tolerating the woman Jezebel your deeds are greater than they are now not in the beginning no not at all in the beginning you had to strike the rock in order to get uh, you know to get some water out of it you had to strike the rock but I have this against you that you tolerate the woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess and she teaches and leads my bond servants astray so that they commit acts of immorality and eat things sacrificed to idol. She teaches and leads my bond servants astray. In that you're going to stop being doing evil things. You're going to stop cursing your children. You're going to start... Uh, fornicating you're going to stop masturbating you're going to stop committing adultery you're going to stop uh, uh, uh speaking uh, taking the name of the lord in vain you're going it's evil shit is what it is and it's manifesting through then why are you tolerating the woman jezebel then i have this against you that you tolerate the woman Jezebel, the spirit, who calls herself a prophetess, and she teaches and leads my bond servants astray so that they commit acts of immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. Because of the, the misinterpretation, the fear. I gave her time to repent, and she does not want to repent of her immorality. Behold, I will throw her on a bed of sickness. And those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation unless they repent of her deeds, their deeds, they repent of her practices, throw into great tribulation unless they repent of her works. I gave her time to repent and she does not want to repent of her immorality. Some people say it's beating a dead horse. I say she does not want to repent of the fornication, repent of her sexual immorality, refuses to repent of her sexual immorality, but she is unwilling. Behold, I will throw her on a bed of sickness and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except for they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children and her children will die with the death and all the churches shall know that I am he who 
which searches and ra searches the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But I say unto you the rest who are in Thyatira, the rest, like, well, you know, the, the rest of the group of people that are there in that, in that group that has a leader who is tolerating this woman, this spirit, who do not hold this teaching, who have not known the deep things of Satan, and they call that, as they call themselves, I have no other burden to put upon you. To those that have not this doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan. Nevertheless, what you have hold fast until I come. I, he who overcomes and he who keeps my deeds until the end, to him I will give glory. I will give authority over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So he shall rule them with a rod of iron. To him who overcomes. So Christ is talking to this church and saying, He who overcomes and he who keeps my deeds until the end, to him I will give authority over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So this definitely sounds singular. A person, he. But at the same time, when he who overcomes and he that overcomes and the one who is victorious, the one who conquers. You can bunch it up in a group, but it's still at the same time, it's, it's a singular person as well. It's because he's going to rule them with a rod of iron. Now a rod of iron, as the vessels of the potter are broken to pieces, as I also have received authority from my father. A rod of iron, well... When, uh, when you have a rod of iron and two flaming swords spinning in each direction and you're preserving the life, you're preserving the spark of life, eternal life, you will rule with the rod of iron, but you'll also rule with the 144,000 as the vessels of the potter are broken to pieces to also have received authority from my father and I will give to him the morning star he who has near let him hear the spirit says the churches so if, if if he gives him the morning star well is he giving him Lucifer or is he giving him Christ the spirit or obviously the spirit of Christ is what is already in the person that's gonna overcome he he that he that um, rules. But the morning star also, if he's giving you Satan to be able to, like handing Satan over to you, and I will give him the morning star. Like here, here's, here's Beelzebub, the prince of the demons. The one, here, Christ is driving out demons with Beelzebub, the prince of demons. So who are you going to drive your demons out with? And to the angel of the church in Sardis, write, Sardis, Sardis. He who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your deed, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen the things that remain which were about to die, for I have not found your deeds completed in the sight of my God. Be watchful, therefore, and remain that things that are ready to die, for I have not found your works perfect before God. So remember what you have received and heard, and keep it, and repent. Remember what you have heard, and keep it, and repent. Do you remember what you, what you have heard? Keep it. Keep it. Don't let any man take your crown. Therefore, if you do not wake up, if you don't see what's happening, I will come like a thief. 
you know, like, like Robin Hood. And you will not know what hour I will come to you. But you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments, and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. So this is a group of people in Sardis. Wake up. Like, wake up. I know your deeds, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you're still spiritually dead. All right, well, this is the group of people on YouTube that you've seen the things, you heard what's going on, you're still spiritually dead. You refuse to let the pride go. You refuse to believe what you're seeing is true. You're believing the lie. You broken promises will be definitely cast upon you when it happens. So this is a group of individuals that at the same time you're being told to wake up. If not, I'll come on you like a thief. You will not know what hour that I will come to you. So it's going to be a surprise. But you have a few people in Sardis still that are in the group that, you know, there's good agents, there's bad agents, there's, there's good guy agents, bad guy agents. There's good and evil, it doesn't really, it's all the same, but it's, some haven't, have not soiled their garments yet. They have not defiled their garments. Who have not defiled their clothes, and they will walk with me away because they are worthy. So these are some of the people that, they hung in there, the entire time. They're part of the group, but they haven't soiled their, they haven't defiled their, their garment. He who overcomes will thus be clothed in white garments, and I will not erase his name from the book of life, and I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So I will confess his name before my father and his angels. How many angels are there? But I know there's at least seven. He who has an ear, let him hear it. Spirit says to the church. To the message of the church in Philadelphia, and to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no man shuts, and who shuts and no man opens, says this, I know your deeds. Behold, I have put before you an open door which no man can shut, because... You have a little power and have kept my word and have not denied my name. Now this sounds like Antipas, my faithful witness, because he held fast. Behold, I will cause those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are absolutely not but lie. I will make them come down at your feet and make them know that I have loved you. Because you have kept the word of my perseverance, I also will keep you from the hour of testing. You know, the hour of testing, knowing the truth, knowing this hour of testing and what's going to happen and how they're going to use more fear tactics and it's just, it's going to be easy. I will make them come down and bow at your feet. And make them know that I have loved you. I have loved you too, Father in heaven. Because you have kept my word and my perseverance, I also keep you from the hour of testing. I will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all of the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. I'm coming quickly. Behold, hold fast what you have so that no one will take your crown. Yep. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it anymore. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it anymore. And I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and my new name. You know why it's coming down from out of heaven? Because heaven is coming down to earth. 
whoever was up in heaven, they came down to earth, and they came down to earth to be humbled. But at the same time, because you got to live in this prison, it's we've been living in this prison our entire life. We don't know any different. You guys know the difference from heaven to here. So this is a group of people that no matter what happens, you're not going to be, you're not going to fail the test. You're going to know that, that what this thing is all about, it's all fear tactics, and they're trying to get you to go from male to female. That hour, which is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth, I'm coming quickly, hold fast what you have so that no man will take your crown. That way, you can continue on with the spark of life. You're not taking it. You're not taking this plug and throwing it. And it's not going to hit a, a wall either. And then from here, it's just, you know, it's, it's just, it's just grass. Like, you see the ear up here? It's just grass going down. And the eye. And all the chains. It seems like that one has, well, they all have chains. Chains. The eye. He who overcomes, I'll make him a pillar in the temple of my God. And he will not go out from it anymore. And I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is a mindset as well, which comes down out of heaven from my God and my new name. He who has near them here, the Spirit says the church. Message to the church in Laodicea. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, the amen, the faithful and true witness. The beginning of the creation of God says this, I know your deeds, that you are neither hot or cold. I wish that you were hot or cold, because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. I will spit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich and have become wealthy. Meaning the, the law, okay, so... So basically, sorry guys, I had to take a customer. So I've been getting, you guys, I've been, just a quick side note, I've been getting a lot of, like, money, I've been getting a lot of, like, money, quick side note, I've been getting a lot of, like, money bills with numbers written on them, and I look them up in strong. Yeah, you know, like, like, one, zero, zero. And it's like something that's happening or something I'm going through. This is the bread of affliction right here. Because you say I am rich and have become wealthy and have need of nothing, and you do not know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. To the angel of the church of Laodicea, the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God says this, the faithful and true witness. I know your deeds that you are neither hot or cold. I wish that you were hot or cold. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot or cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Because you said I am rich, I have become wealthy and need of nothing. You do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may become rich and white garments so that you may clothe yourself and that the shame of your nakedness will not be revealed.
and eye salve, <clears throat> eye salve to anoint your eye, your eyes, so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and discipline. Therefore, be zealous, be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him and will dine with him and he with me. He who overcomes, I will grant him to sit down with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Not what Robin T. says, what the Spirit says to these churches. You can blaspheme me all you want. Blaspheme against the Spirit. Well, everybody just will find out in the end why that's not a good idea. Expect that angel of the church of Thyatira, the Son of God who has eyes like the flame of fire and his feet are like burnished bronze, says this, I know your deeds and your love and faith and service and perseverance and that your deeds of late are greater than at first. But I have this against you, that you tolerate the woman Jezebel. That suffered that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Teaches and deceives my slaves to commit sexual immorality and to eat meat sacrificed unto idols. So they're doing this work in the physical but it helps their physical body. It's the same thing with the spiritual, you guys. This the exact same thing. Sorry, guys. I had to take a customer. So I've been getting, you guys, I've been, just a quick side note. I've been getting a lot of, like, money bills. I gave her time to repent, and she doesn't want to repent of her immorality, sexual immorality. Behold, I will throw her on a bed of sickness and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unre unless they repent of their deeds. You don't think that painting's just shit? It's evil shit is what it is. And it's manifesting through a host body system. That's a guy eating his own freaking kid. Saturn eating his own kid. There it is. I mean, this is... A very famous painting. Eating your own kid. Okay, let's look at the hieroglyph of Akhenaten. So here's my, my, my top list. This is where it's lined up at. Global Witness, Nick Vandalay, Jonathan Click, uh, Tyler Mullen, Steve Benoon, Justin Michael, Adam and Eve, uh, Jacob Israel, 
Bible talk guy. I guess because he's uh, Stephen James. Congratulations, John Quentin. You're up there in the running. I recently had a phone call with someone who I, I've known for a long time. Doesn't really have a very, you know, uh, up to date relationship at all, but he's contacted me a few times. And some of the things that I, I mean, I was almost dumbfounded at some of the conversation that we had. I was just almost, I almost didn't even know how to react to some of the things that he was saying and how far off base he was. I was like, how, how long has he known or seen the ministry and thought he was like understanding it and the things that he said would indicate clearly to me that maybe he hasn't taken hold of the most simple thing. Okay. So well, <clears throat> Was this misinterpreted? Or he cares about his kingdom and they're building it right now. These great resets happen and they have. They're called the end of the age. And then there is something that Christ talks about in Revelation the end of the age is the end of all of it. So we're going to have this reset. It's going to happen. Period. Because little G God runs this world, if you didn't know that. Uh, if somebody trying to call me doesn't realize that I'm going to show, clearly not a subscriber. The Bible says, greater love hath no man than he that layeth down his life for his friends. I recently had a phone call with someone who I, I've known for a long time. Doesn't really have a very, you know, uh, up-to-date relationship at all, but he's contacted me a few times and some of the things that... I also understand that phoning home, ET phone home, doesn't always necessarily mean that you're actually talking to anybody on the phone. I, I mean, I was almost dumbfounded at some of the conversation that we had. I was just almost... I almost didn't even know how to react. But... What the odds are that there's a guy, the, the spirit of a guy burning in flames and Akhenaten's got his foot on the door so he can't get out, showing that the spiritual being is trapped, being burned as fuel. Isn't that weird? There's a, a big pagan party in the desert called Burning Man. Just go type it into Google Images. Just go look. Burning Man. That's the system. In the desert? To which angels get trapped and burn so you get burnt you can take it one way or another you get burnt like that or spiritually you just get burnt and they do they convince themselves and they just walk like zombies amongst us they can't hear or see any of this now you understand when jesus could open the eyes of the blind and make the mute speak they couldn't even talk about it they couldn't talk about what was going on because it would unintentionally reveal something to them and they would realize that they don't know what's going on. I talked to uh, a couple friends of mine over the past week and uh, one of them uh, extremely liberal. Well, actually, both of them are very liberal. But um, it, it's funny as I speak to these folks and they're, you know, they're still in business and they're still doing it, but it's, it's amazing. Right now, they're finally, just now finally getting to a place where they say, uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to believe. Well, that's a start. Um, and my response is always, um, don't believe anything. Nothing. Well, what do you mean, he says. Why would I <laughs> nothing, think that? Not even your real last name. Like your last name or what you think is your last name. Nothing. Because don't worry. On the other platforms, I'm not going to be doing videos like this. I'm not going to be doing 33 minute videos um, because I only did 33 minute videos so I can get everybody's attention and to get the agents to work because they were harassing me and I knew that they were assigned to me so I started to wake up and punish them. Uh, I already got everybody's attention so on the next platform it'll be more quicker to the point 
Uh, I'm not going to start showing, pointing people out because you already know, everybody's already going to know what they did and didn't do. And it'll just be more about scriptures because I'll be taught better from the past, these past four years almost on YouTube. Time to switch gears. And because obviously over here, I was told that I'm going to stop uh, talking negative about people pointing out their negativity. I'm going to stop cursing everybody I come across because it's a curse to know the truth and you can't um, can't stop the truth. So that is a curse. I was told I'm going to stop doing like basically whatever it is that I'm doing right now. And that's fine because I'm sure there's other platforms that I'll be able to speak my mind because what I want to speak is, and it's not that I'm going to pick apart people because the people I picked apart, they're already there. I don't need to pick anybody apart anymore. It's time to start putting things back together. I just had to separate what I, you know, like the wheat from the tares. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his bondservants the things which must soon take place and he sent and communicated it by his angel to his bond servant john who testified to the word of god and to the testimony of jesus christ even to all that he saw blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of the prophecy and heed the things which are written therein for the time is near john greets the seven churches john to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne. So John is the one writing to these churches, but isn't he involved in the seven churches, like as in the eighth person? But how can he be but what if he's of the churches himself and he, one of them is writing to him? Or can it be two people in one vessel, two places at one time? Either way, it's John to the seven churches that are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. I lost my spot. Who is to come? and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and releases us from our sins by his blood. He made, and he has made us to be a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, even those who defecated on his character. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn over him, so, so it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and fellow partaker in tribulation and kingdom and perseverance, which are in Jesus, who was on the island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. He was told to come down here. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like the sound of a trumpet, like the seventh or so, or all saying write in a book what you see and send it to the seven churches to ephesus and to smyrna and to pergamum and to thyatira and to sardis and to philadelphia and to laodicea then i turned to see the voice that was speaking with me and having turned i saw seven golden lampstands in the middle of the lampstands i saw one like the son of man clothed with a robe reaching to his feet and girded across his chest 
with a golden sash. His head and his hair were white, like white wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like the furnace, furnace bronze when it is, when it has been made to glow in the furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in its strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man, and he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last, and the living one. And I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Therefore write these things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will take place after these things. As for the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Solomon is right, and David himself <clears throat> shall feed them. One greater than Solomon is here. One greater, greater than Solomon. Than Solomon, who was before Solomon. A uh, one greater is eight. To understand the mystery of the coming of the Son of Man. Building eight. David is reborn on the earth, not Jesus. David. Born of blood and water. The host to the spirit of David, John. Good afternoon, Hello. friends. Stephen Benoon here with the New Institute of Biblical here. Research. And don't worry about really his reading. He's live on YouTube right now. We are having yet another strike. It's actually two strikes, bro. Which is a little bit under Shane Wright. Once you've hit Ryan, I can read the whole lot of other strikes. And let's start over again. Right now, see where that works. Before I move on, I'm going to ask you what you get from the book of Matthew. I'm going to ask you what you get. We're in the middle of an ice He was ready because the thing thing that was too much. I can't get any hats that he had one for me. I wasn't supposed to know, but I knew because it's three obvious. And, um, and then out of, out of nowhere, he never even talked about it, and and he never showed the, the video of him singing the next song to me, because it was to me. This is similar. Yeah. One greater than Solomon is here, Tyler. Hey, Solomon, there's one that's greater. The house of Adam ben David is here. Hey, Solomon. One is greater, the house of Adam ben David. What he's trying to tell you, Tyler, is you're the one that is, uh, you're going to have a party for a thousand of your lords, and um, and then there's going to be something written, like meanie, meanie, tekel, something or another, you're screwed. Tekel, something or another, you're screwed. And then um, that's when you get slain that very next same day. That's why their symbol is a tongue sticking out of the mouth. Dead sheep with a tongue sticking out. why they out. have the tongue sticking out, rolling stones. It represents God's angels that got rolled. Okay, anyway, so, again, very quickly. Hi. <laughs> okay. See, because all you have to go by is what you've seen since you've been born. Well, man, man and woman. It's the greatest illusion there is. It's really bugs. It's insects. 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 In Sex. Hunting souls through a host In body sex. system. I can prove it. Sex within. I'm proving it right here. There's a 
There's a drawing that was done of me by a guy named Alex in Starbucks. You've seen the testimony. Surgery. It's not yet clear how seriously he's been injured, yeah, but we do know the SUV he was driving. He was the sole occupant, went off the road, and rolled over shortly after 7 like this morning California stone. time. Jaws of Life power tool to extricate him from the wreck. Gotti Schwartz is in Los Angeles and has more reporting on this. Gotti, what do we know? Hey, good. Okay. So people that call me false prophet and stuff, they, you know, they've already made their bed. There's no going back for them. Because everything I'm doing is a gift of the Holy Spirit. I was right. I'm here to rat out who I was. I'm like, Twist that's the center the, media. The demonic. Demolished the sign that read, this Welcome to Rolling Hills Estate. Right. One got, I, I got converted and I got inverted. Yeah. Converted now, let's do inverted. our juxtaposition thing and continue. Okay. Juxtaposition. Yeah. And then he says, and if the word of God came unto them that are called gods and the scriptures cannot be broken. That's because not a bone was broken. You can't break the bones of Christ. So he even said, look, Y'all are gods, and the scriptures cannot be broken. Cannot be broken. So he even said, look, y'all are gods, and the scriptures cannot be broken. It's a bunch of gods hiding in host bodies is what it Me is. Too. Hoping they're not found out, but they were found out. I'm inverted, and I'm upside down, making an X. I don't know if you guys know just how insane what you're looking at is, especially with the music that was edited in. That is beyond insane. That's so far beyond impossible, especially is. since I'm the messenger Still that the Lord spark. God chose to deliver this end time message and warning. You either turn or you die. That the earth is tilting. That's why when you've been watching the sun over the past years, now you see that the sun is setting way, way out in left field. This is all scripture fulfillment. And the earth, the Lord is convicted as pouring out his spirit on all flesh and all peoples. Are being convicted. Of their sins and what is going on. Are they? Uh, he had to prepare me. I had to be proficient in the Bible. I got up every morning. I got up in the mornings extremely early and I read the Bible. I would pray. That's exactly what Tyler was talking about earlier about, you know, don't get up and reach for your phone, Robin, to see what time it is when you're waking up because you go to work. Don't check your phone to get back to your um, subs or comment or anything like that. Just, you should read the Bible first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But to force somebody to do it, it's not you if you choose to do it that's what you choose to do you'll see that it however it makes you feel if you have more time if you're an early bird person that likes to wake up and you want to read the bible and you before you go to your job like a full-time job like where you got to drive an hour and work eight hours and drive another hour back instead of just sitting wherever it is that you're sitting not really having to do that but you can make time it's not an excuse but if you choose to, and then talking about cursing, and then Johnny's talking about cursing, and 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 Derek has the, the two Johnnies over here. He has a phone call. Somebody called. They're clearly not a subscriber. Talk to the guy in a while. And he clearly doesn't know. Understand who I am now. I've changed. How did it start? Where did it come from? We don't know. A lot of these answers are only answered in the Bible. The knowledge of the tree of good and evil. The Bible mind. So who is this new world order? Who are they? What is their purpose? How did it start? Where did it come from? We don't know. A lot of these answers are only answered in the Bible. The knowledge of the tree of good and evil. The Bible said, I will put him in the deep between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Seeds reference DNA, now different species. Anything, huh? DNA carries all our genetic material to reproduce a species, but if DNA is split, 
what would be the result? Dominant DNA putting back together of another species, one. That's what it really is. It's the one eye on the dollar. Ever. It's just fact. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. So, because when Jesus cast out the demon, they said he casts out demons by Beelzebub. And so they attributed him casting out demons to a demonic source. Isn't that what you were just talking about? Um, over here, I forget where it was. What's going to happen is they will attack you in these ways. And so this is where you really need to understand Christ's words and why he was speaking about things. And so this is from the ESV version for those of people that got mad at the uh, uh, California. I, I like the version. California version. It's more realistic. So this is, again, like I said, Matthew 12, 22 through 37. Then they brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him so that he could both talk and see. All the people were astonished and said, could this be the son of David? Uh, because the revelation, no matter what, when you see somebody uh, who was dead and is rising alive again and is to come, they died to themselves and they rose new, no, knowing who they are and knowing the difference of this world. They know where they're at. They can see they've th everything died to them. It's an awakening that is astonishing to be a part of. When the Father speaks to you, in declaratives, directives, tells you what to do, and all of it comes in the same, and you understand it by its fruit because of what it accomplishes. It doesn't accomplish the thing that this evil, nasty, lower G God would, killing women, children, insects, everything, hating people. Yeah, that God hates in the scriptures. So, and they said, could, th could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, it is only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Here's the amazing part about this statement. This is what I love about reading scripture. And, and I love that the Father has given me a lens, and I know it's not my lens. I know it's his. But I'm thankful that he's given me access to it. But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, it's only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this fellow casts or drives out demons. They acknowledge that he drove out demons. You know what? You can blaspheme me. You can blaspheme my father. But if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, that's it. Unforgivable in this world or the next. And very first thing was turning the virgin upside down. And I saw it was a dead sheep. Then he had me draw an image of the virgin. And it was horrifying. It was just, it was unbelievable what was in it. They're designed to look like penis and testicles. It's a yes or no. The answer is yes. So that, Did you know uh, Venus is a roof. representation of Lucifer? This is a clothing line called Broken Promises. Is that a t-shirt that has like a rubber doll skin of a female? And what's coming out of it is a demon. And it's got hands that look like roots. What's coming out of it is a demon because the demon was cast out of the person that has a female rubber suit, a meat suit. Like a tree. And it says it's what's inside that counts. Bro, I'm going to show you this, but I'm going to enlarge this one. Marina Abramovic is sitting there with her legs spread with no I mean, underwear obviously, on. Wearing a pair her worm never died. It's just been tucked up. A pair of chaps holding an M16. What would be the inference there? Oh, that her vagina is her weapon for her army. That's the inference. Yes or no. And that leads to the other side. Let's see. Yes or no. Is this Miley Cyrus with teeth? or equivalent of a bear trap on her vagina. Absolutely. Yes or no? Yep. The answer is yes. You're looking at it. Why? Is this... Because, because he went from male to female, 
and hit his snake, that's why. It's still in there, right? Or is it something that it's just the mouth of the bug? But it's looking like it's a bear trap. Why? Is this Rihanna on her knees wow. wearing panties that have the face of the devil with the mouth of the devil? You know anybody he shows went from male to female. You know that, right? Where her vagina is, yes or no? The answer is yes. Spinning a web, yes or no? Why? Because. Is this an altar of a sheep? It's yes all or the no? same. Is the altar above this right here? Is this part right above the same as the sheep below? It's a yes or no. Sheep, the altar, is yes. above, yes. Is that same sheep, sheep now altar, that I've shown you what below. it is? Is Absolutely. it a penis ejaculating a seed Apparently and angels it melting into semen? Yep. It's a yes or no. The answer is yes. When I turn this upside down, when I turn this exact same altar upside down right here, is it the female reproductive system and does it make an X when I just line up the windows like X marks the spot? this in the mouth of a serpent right here since i've shown you that serpent absolutely on many occasions that window i just showed you right yep. here is a male and female reproductive system does that All suggest the that the serpent race gets fed through the male and female reproductive systems yes or no the answer is yes done always so he's trustworthy and i trust him Sometimes it's a walk of just complete blind faith. But look at the evidence I've shown. I, I, I feel the, uh, the look. Sometimes you got to look at things twice, three times, four times, and understand that, okay, I thought maybe, maybe the person went from complete male to female and just got rid of the spark of life. But no, now, no, and it's, that's not what it is. What it is, is still men. They're men. They're still men. It's just on the outside, there's a wall built to look like that. But inside, it's something different. This is just, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, the yeah. tip of the iceberg on Evident. As he shows the sheep, tip of the iceberg. You just wonder, who's the woman that is right next to the sheep? Maybe that's why, tiger, because it's a female next to you.